we are going to start off with resetting or clearing our calculator. To start with, what we always need to have a look at is we need to ensure that on our calculator, the only signs and symbols we have got at the start of the use of our calculator is a D for degrees and the word math. If we have any other signs or symbols, such as an R, a G, a very common one, M, the word fix or the word psi, we need to reset our calculator. In general, I advise all learners to reset their calculator before they write a test or an exam, or if you are borrowing a calculator from somebody, please ensure that you clear or reset your calculator and put it in the right setup so that you are ready to use your calculator and no errors can be made. Let's have a look at how we are going to reset. Shift and number nine. A clear menu comes up and it asks you, what is it that you are wanting to clear? Is it number one, your setup? Number two, your memory? Or option three, all your information? Because we are wanting to start from scratch and fresh, we are going to clear all our information. Option number three. The calculator asks us, are you sure you want to reset all? Yes, I'm sure. I'm going to press equals, or if you decide that you don't or no longer want to reset all, you can press AC. But for today's session, we are going to clear all our information. So yes, equals. Just a final press of an AC button will confirm that we are clearing all our information. And what you will notice if you had any other signs or symbols on the screen of the calculator, they are no longer there. And the only thing you are left with is your D and your math. We are not just yet ready to continue using our calculator because let's have a look at the following. Put into your calculator for me 1 divided by 800. Press equals. What you will notice automatically, the calculator is going to put this into a fraction format. We know that at a high school level, your answers are generally, unless they ask you to keep them in a fraction, they are generally going to be written as a decimal. So let's push our SD button. What you will see appear on the screen of the calculator is an answer in scientific notation. 1.25 times 10 to the negative 3. We are wanting an answer as a decimal and not in scientific notation. This is where many learners make a mistake because they leave their answer in scientific notation because the calculator told them so. We need to take this one step further and we need to tell the calculator, I want you to work in a normal decimal mode. So let's do this together. Shift and setup. Setup is found next to your on button. We will discuss this menu in greater detail in a later stage, but what we are looking at is option number eight, where it says to me normal mode. So select option eight. The calculator now asks us, do I want to be normal one or do I want to be normal two? Let me explain this to you. If you are doing chemistry or physics or science, you are going to select normal option one. The reason for this, if I choose normal option one, I can leave my answers in a scientific notation. If I am doing maths or maths literacy, I'm going to select normal option two. This being because I want my answers as a normal decimal setup. So for today's lesson, we are doing maths. We are selecting option number two. What you will notice, your calculator has held your fraction, your one over 800. We want this as a decimal, so we press SD. 
and there you will notice or there you will see that from now on all my answers are automatically going to go from a fraction into a decimal. We are now ready to use our calculator. I want you to start getting into the habit when you are using your calculator to use your AC button when you are clearing the screen of the calculator and avoid using your on button.